Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, we're going to be talking about weld constraints and Roblox Studio and what they do. So let's get right into it. Okay, so to start off guys, I have these three sets of parts. Um, this part is not anchored, it's not anchored, and it's just one part. Here in this middle, I have two parts, um, no weld constraints, they are both anchored. I then have a model with these two parts and I have a weld constraint. Again, these... Um, are not anchored so none of these are anchored this one is by itself this one it doesn't have a weld constraint this one does have a weld constraint when we run this and we have different outcomes right since it's not anchored this one just falls to the ground that's usual but remember how the but, but you know before this part was kind of raised up a little higher but with the and with the weld constraint the part stayed in the same position now let me put it closer to the part and make it so it's something like this and like put it down next to the part i'm gonna do the same thing for the other one okay so now i have these you know the same i'm gonna run the game and these parts all to the ground as usual but the when you see them fall you could see that the blue had moved a little bit you know it wasn't staying in place but this one with the weld constraint and made it stay in its place so what weld constraints do is you can weld two parts together so that they stay in the same position you know same relation to each other and like they do not um they don't move so like you can connect basically connect two parts and make it so that they are um in the same relative position or orientation to each other so as well like if one part moves uh, if one part moves, the other part moves the same amount. If I go into the game, I should be able to use the tools. I don't know why, it's kind of being weird, but I can't even use the tools. But anyway, if you were to move this part, see, when I'm, okay, so when I'm trying to move these parts, I don't know if you can tell, but the top part is moving. But when I'm trying to move these, they move together, basically. They're like glued together in other words this is good for making something like a hammer tool like if you have a hammer so let's get a part this is going to be the kind of the, the the handle um you know this is our hammer pretty pretty much maybe something like this i don't really know but we have a hammer and when we just raise it up again, we play the game, it falls to the ground and the pieces are not together. So what we would have to do, I mean, you, you can um, put these things in a model or you don't have to, but I'd prefer you would so just to make it more organized. And you can put a weld constraint in either part. Now, it doesn't really matter where you put the weld, but the, um, there's some different ways you can make the weld so if you go to let's see i think it's model and you let's say you select these two i'm gonna select these two parts i want to weld one way of welding these is you go down to create and then um hit weld that makes a weld in the part and it welds it together or you could just do it in the manual way put a weld constraint in and so what you have to do is go to the weld constraint and you go down to part zero, you select one part, part one is the other part you are welding together. Um, that's where like if you have multiple parts in a model, it gets confusing. Because let's say I have this part, I have this part, I have this part, I have this part, and a few more parts all in a model. You can select one part and weld everything together so what you would have to do is select the primary part like i'm gonna say this one and weld it to another you have to duplicate it put it to another another you know you that's kind of tedious so you can do it that way it takes longer but it, it can be more organized if you select all the parts go to model and create oh, oh. And weld. Oh, I don't know, it's not working, but hold on. Alright, so you guys actually can't like weld a lot of um, 
are together like that, but, um, if, another thing you could do is select one part, click weld, and you have this drag thing, and you can click on anything in the game, and you can also select any part, um, like that, weld parts, um, like that. Alright guys, so the next example I have for you is, um, when you need weld constraints, is making tools, like stuff you could hold. Welds are important in, in a case where you um, are using a tool. So I've put these two parts in a tool I call the handle, handle, because that's what you need. And I went to my plugin and I made um, sure that it is the right uh, grip, like I'm holding the tool correctly. And uh, there we go. So I just changed it so it's uh, all good. And so. I'm going to, okay, so I'm not going to have any weld. So when the part's just sitting here, the tool is just sitting here, and you go into the game, you try to pick it up, again, it's a part, and when you equip it, you only have the handle, and it, it, the, the other part is not together. Same thing if you put it in starter pack. When you put it in starter pack and equip it right away, you only have the handle, and the other part is right here because these things are not welded together. So again, how you can fix this is probably inside the handle, what you need, you know, it's just more organized where when everything is in the handle, part zero, handle, and part one um, to the other parts. And um, we have a visual here and it shows our two parts are welded together. All right, so that's how you, how you can just, as the simplest way possible, make a weld. Set part zero to one of the parts, like the under the part probably that you're welding it to. And then part one, the other part. It's very simple. Now, we go into the game. And see, we, we see it, it's together. We equip it. Um, and it's like, it's together. It is a um, functioning tool. Again, starter pack play the game equip it and it is all together every piece is there and it's not falling apart now you guys may also be asking um, to use weld constraints or just welds so when we go up here you guys can't see this I'm gonna make it so you can so when I type in weld it has weld, weld and weld constraint um, if you would see the weld is like kind of grayed out which means it is deprecated. And it, this is because just weld constraints are easier to use. Um, they are newer, which means they probably have better physics. Um, you know, just a lot simpler. And the C0 and C1 constraints in the weld um, have to be manually set, which can be a pain. So weld constraints are just newer, simpler, you know, just just better to use than welds. Welds are as well deprecated, so that means that Roblox themselves has said to not really use it. They are still usable because some people, this is like deprecated stuff, means you shouldn't use it, um, but you still can use it because some people don't know to not use it. So if they removed it completely, then people would be really confused and whatnot because a lot of people still use a certain thing that is deprecated if you guys do have any questions um of weld constraints in scripting like maybe just making them or you know doing something like that well it is like making any other instance you could say just weld equals instance dot new weld constraint like it's the same thing you would just have to set the part um zero and part one but also you would want to set the name so i'm just going to call this a weld um so you would have to set part zero and as well part one and then you have to set the parent so world constraints um you make them in scripts the same exact way so part zero is just, i'm just gonna get a random part equals game dot workspace dot base plate i guess uh game dot workspace so making welds is the exact same thing again you should have to set part zero part one which they're connected to and as well just figuring out where you want to parent the weld and everything should work um as usual with weld constraints so to um go over what i've explained in this video weld constraints are used 
to basically glue or connect parts together even when Roblox physics are um, enforced on it. So basically when they fall, two parts are still connected as I uh, showed you guys in the original uh, video. I don't know what's going on with this one, but as I showed you guys in the original video, this one's being weird. I, I may have done something to it, but anyways, um, that just, it basically connects two parts, and uh, yeah, well, constraints can be super useful for, again, like making tools, and yeah, stuff like that. And yeah, guys, that was today's video. If you guys did enjoy this video, or you guys did learn something from this video, please hit the like button and the subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.